Hey guys, so I'm pretty sure everywhere around this time of year, annoying as hell, people are going to talk about what they're going to do for their New Year's resolutions, and it's always the same shit, or they're going to try to be cliche and go to another route. It's always lose weight, um, stop drinking soda, I mean, those are like the biggest two ever, and I've never in my life that I can think of have ever made a New Year's resolution. I've never... Or if I have made any type of want to change myself, it's never because it's a new year. And I think that's what people don't really wrap their heads around or they um, they just say it, oh, I'll get this all out of my system <clears throat> this past week. I'll eat everything I want and then January 1st I'll do shit. And again, this video is going to be cliche too because I feel like this has just been, it doesn't even feel like a new year it's always going to feel the same to me. You know what I mean? I'm just, it's, I'm, you know, I'm getting older, whatever. It's a new birthday. This year, um, it only means something to me because I'm going to be turning 25, which is, I feel um, fucking nuts because I still always will always feel 17, I think. But uh, the whole, th the thing about like losing weight, whatever, that's great. I don't even want to get all into that because that's what everybody's channel is going to be about. Follow me in my weight loss journey. And really for me last year, or I want to say it was kind of toward the beginning middle of last year whenever I really was like, I want to change. And the only way that I changed is because I kind of got out of a depression. I got out of my own mind. And that's the only reason that something clicked in my brain that said, I don't need to eat this whole fucking pizza by myself. I don't need to drink a case of beer every night. You know what I mean? You, you change when you want to change, which is pretty much what they tell you in like rehab. There's no point of going to rehab if you have no want to change. And if you're dealing with something emotionally, whether it be um, if you're a drug addict, if you drink, if you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to get off soda, you can't really... Cold turkey is a good way to go, but you're never going to... Um, you can't just say it to say it, you know what I mean? There has to be something in your brain that clicks one day and, and you just realize, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. Not because it's a new year. Um... It's always great to set goals for yourself, but for me, this year, um, I and I don't like setting goals because whenever I say that, I'll try really hard. Like I do, I think a lot of people do. Maybe for the first like two, two, three weeks, maybe even a month, and then it just kind of goes downhill because you're only doing it because it's a new year. You know, that newness of the year is gonna fucking fade away within about a month. We're pretty much over it after January, and it just seems like this is you know back to reality. You guys know what I'm saying? So. After I got back from Texas, um, you know, now that I am getting older and I need to find more of what I want to do for a career path or um, just a way to make money, that's why people have careers, um, I just, I used to be so, so scared of flying and not saying I just want to travel everywhere, but a big thing for me this year, whether it be sooner or later in the year, doesn't really matter to me, I would love to be able to just fly to two different states. Um, for some reason, like as much as I, I really don't like airports because I don't like people, they're very fucking rude. But just like whenever I was standing in the airport looking at all these like departures and landings and you just see all these states and it's because I'm I'm such from a small ass town in the Midwest, so fucking small, so bumfuck nowhere, whatever. I feel in the state of mind, like whenever you see like New York or Los Angeles on TV, like those places aren't real. That doesn't exist. It only exists on TV. Like I'm never going to see that in my lifetime, which sounds so ridiculous. But whenever you live in a place like this, that's so shit and you see whatever. I would love to be able to go to either California, New York or Las Vegas um, just for the experience of it. And me and my girlfriend have been talking. And for me, that would be like my first step. I want to travel so bad. Um, really with her because I feel like that's when, where we'd have the most fun, but just to see something else because a, a big, a big problem for me is I think I get so down, not really on myself or just down on my life is because you feel how your surroundings are, you know? I mean, most of it is in a state of mind. Like if you're in a shitty mood, everything's going to be shitty. But when you're around such crap, I live in like a really bad, like it is very poverty stricken, very crimes, very high. So whenever you're like scared to go the fuck outside of your house and venture out, that kind of diminishes what you want to do in life, you know? Um, which is why I've tried to make this platform more of what I want to do. And I would really love to work on that as much as I can, which now that I'm back, I really want to try to sit down and do, um, I would love to do like portfolio work. That would be awesome. Um, something to that effect. But I love sitting here and talking to you guys and I would love to sit down and think ideas for myself, how to really boost my channel um 
I don't know how to explain it. I don't mean like in a, in a YouTube career sense. I mean creatively something else down the line. You know what I mean? I still love to sit here and talk to you guys. But those are like my goals. My goal is also to get a fucking better ring light than this piece of shit on my phone. Um, because it also, like whenever you have a better setup, you just feel like you're really doing something, you know? And this is obviously a hobby. I don't um, think that this is my job, good lord, by any means. But it's something that I would like to turn it into something else. Um, that would be my biggest goal. Also, the older you get, um, it just opens your eyes more. Uh, that's what I want to focus on more, meaning this year, is like career and really doing something with myself. Whenever I went down to Texas, you know, my mom just does so, so fucking much for me. She wants me to move down there so bad. Um, we actually drove to where my mom and her new husband are building their house. It's so nice. Um, it's really just the foundation work or I would have like taken more pictures there's no walls built up yet. It's just like the straight pipes and foundation. But whenever I see that, I'm just like, I'm so proud of my mom and what she's done. And she just seems so established to me. But I also still feel like I'm six years old and I'm looking at my mom who has this like, you know, nice career. She's really doing something. But I want to be able to do more for my family. I want to be able to be successful for them. You know, of course, I want to do it for myself. But I want to be able, whenever I need to, to take care of people. Um, if they're ever in a bad way, you know... It's not just having money, but the security to be able to, like, you can come stay with me if you need to be. Like, you know, I have a house now. It's not the ideal um, area where I want to have a house, which is something that me and my best friend are really thinking about. We're thinking about both when our leases are up, getting a house together, maybe in a nicer area. But also, you don't want to be living with your friends your whole life. So that's kind of a struggle for me. Um, but, yeah, that's just my biggest thing. Being 25 this year, I really want... To establish myself and not be so worried about finances, where I'm at, you know, um, and I know it's still very young and a lot of people are like, oh, you're not going to find that till you're older. And I get that, you know, uh, a lot of people don't. Um, Texas. I, it's so funny because I feel like such a tourist, but we went to Goodwill and I just bought this big sweatshirt with a longhorn on and I bought this, but it's really cute jacket. Um, but that's like my biggest, biggest goals. I want to, and I love talking to you guys. I love when you leave me comments. Um, maybe if I can do something with that, like advice, helping people. Um, I do love doing the pictures, um, for the Patreon and I still feel like such a bitch because I only put one set out kind of, but I have all this shit that I'm going to do, um, getting better lighting. Hopefully this week I can get just something that I can use, um, and a stand to do these pictures on because I love doing that so much. Um, and if I can ever find anywhere to get more done, that would be awesome. But that would be awesome. Wow, I just fucking want to kill myself after that voice. But that's just what I want to work on the most. Um, even whenever I talk with relationships, it's kind of been a struggle. I'm not going to lie, the past month. And I've been very honest with you guys. I think I did kind of move into it very, very fast because I was so depressed in such in a bad way. I just wanted like so much love and so much, you know, thinking that you're getting older and you need to move in together and have kids, which we are not doing anytime soon. But... Um, I was talking to my uh, my sister and my mom and I'm just like, I'm scared because I don't want to feel like I felt rushed into something and I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, you know, me, not that me and Matt are going to break up, but you know, as you get older, things kind of start to become more clear on what you should do and we're in an, in an okay place right now, you know, we're fine, but I want to focus on me more. I don't, I don't want to keep focusing on my depression toward other people or my depression or letting people make me depressed or letting other people get in the way of what I want to do. So <clears throat> I'm going to do the best that I can and we're just going to see what happens this year. We're just going to see because that's how I feel every year. Um, I'm doing what I'm doing for a reason. You know, something's always come out of something that I've done. You know what I mean? Like the people that I've met through certain jobs, if I don't have a job for a while, something else has come from that, you know, good or bad. You just teach, it teaches you a lesson, but that's how I feel. I, I don't want to, um, I guess that would be my resolution, but that's always been my thing to like strive for better. And I feel like now that I'm older, I have the maturity and know that you don't, don't let people fuck, fuck you around. You know what I mean? And I think that's a lot of reason why people like want to lose weight or want to do all this shit because people are coming at you a million different ways. You want to lose weight for a guy. You want to look better for a guy. Um, and I don't want that to be my thing this year. You know, I don't want to have anybody else's influence on my life. I want to do what the fuck I want to do. And it was so funny because it, I like, 
kind of got jolted back because I, t I said a lot how I don't like when people know what my YouTube channel is. Matt knows what it is. My sister does. Um, but a lot of people, they kind of forget about it, you know. They're, they're like, oh, this is weird that you just sit here and talk. But we, I was in the car um, with my niece whenever we were in Texas driving. And she had my mom's phone because she forgot her cell phone in the car and she wanted to play a game. And she was on YouTube and I just happened to look over and I see in the search bar, um, Katie, how I lost my virginity. And I almost like had a heart attack because that's on my mom's phone. I'm 25 now. This happened when I was 14. You know, she knows the whole fucking story. But it's so weird because I don't like being that person that has to think about what I'm saying to hurt people's feelings. But let me say it again. I'm not 25. I'm still 24. I'm, I'm not going to be 25 till the end of this year. But I'm, I'm sick of feeling weird about what I want to do. You know, I'm sick of like feeling weird about what I want to talk about and what I want to put out there because now I'm a grown ass adult. Like I can do whatever the fuck I want. And if it's going to make me happy, it's going to make me happy. So I, my biggest thing is to work on my anxiety and really like not giving a fuck what people think. That's that's a giant step for me. And that's just my cliche um, 2018 goal video, if that's what you want to call it. Um, if I lose weight, that's cool. If I don't, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try my hardest. I told you guys I got like the new waist trainer. I do have some workout equipment. So eating healthy, healthier is definitely like a biggest step. I always, I've already kind of backtracked that in. Um, a lot last year and I've like trained myself to really eat better and know what what is good and bad for me um, I still smoke. I don't am I gonna give that up? No, because I don't really care um, And that's so bad to say but you know, I'm not a person that smokes a pack a day by any means I can stretch that out. I'm more of a social smoker um, If I just told myself like I can go a month without smoking a cigarette and not like throw a bitch fit or be crazy So I don't think that's a problem for me um you know, so that's just my biggest thing. I'm going to try to cut back, sure, but I'm just not one of those people that's going to like whoosh, dive in like, nope, none for, more for me. But yeah, goals this year, those are mine. And you guys can list down below what, what you're really working on this year. And if your goals are to lose weight or do whatever, like I'm not being mean. That's not my intention. That's fucking amazing. I just think that um, you kind of have to train yourself to know, especially because I was so bad with food addiction. It's not just like, oh my God, I need to lose five pounds. No. It's, it would have caught up to me at older. Like, I'm telling you, like, I would make those, like, mini pizza things and eat, like, a whole fucking can of biscuits. That's not okay. That needed to stop. That's why I stopped myself. Because I literally would be like, oh, my God, I just ate this whole fucking thing. Like, that was kind of alarming. I don't know. I'm going to go, though. I'm going to have to go to the store. Maybe I don't have a car. I don't know how we're going to get there because our whole county is under a water boil, which means you can't drink the water, folks. So I'm going to go, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.